Welcome to Kathy's Eclectic Garden. If you are new to my channel, my garden is in Northwest Ohio, zones 5B, 6A. Today I will be sharing with you the seeds that I will be winter sowing in milk jugs. The winter sowing method I use is to plant seeds in translucent or clear containers such as milk jugs. Seeds should be planted in December or January. Set the containers outdoors and in the spring you will have seedlings to plant in your garden. Let me show you what I will be planting. Planting Prairie Drop Seed, Lance Leaf Coreopsis, Indian Blanket, Sky Blue Aster, Green Milkweed, Prairie Milkweed, Purple Milkweed, Hoary Verbena, Button Blazing Star, Wild Quinine, Wild Petunia, and Rue Anemone. They are all native seeds for my area that need cold stratification in order to germinate. They could have been planted in late fall, but I would probably mistake the seedlings for weeds and pull them in the spring. So I prefer to winter sow them and transplant the seedlings in spring. Prairie drop seed is a fine textured bunch grass with leaves that curve gracefully outward, forming large round tufts. Delicate, fragrant seed heads appear above the tuft in midsummer, rising two feet high. Fall color is tan to bronze. They prefer full sun and mesic to dry soils. They're found throughout most of the United States and Canada. The native lance leaf Coreopsis grows in small clumps but can form extensive colonies. Its yellow flower is easy to spot and quite distinctive. Even though it is a fairly short-lived perennial, it reseeds freely and you are likely to see it again. Pollinators, especially butterflies, are drawn to this plant. Indian Blanket is the perfect annual to give your prairie first year color or to just add a pop of color to any landscape. Happy bright red flowers tipped with yellow often bloom May through August but if the weather is fair, they may bloom longer. Although classified as an annual, it can reseed itself and come back the following growing season. This annual prefers full sun and is very heat tolerant. It reaches heights anywhere from one to three feet. This is the first time I have winter sown an annual plant, so I will probably also start some indoors a few weeks before our last frost to guarantee I have plants in 2023. Sky Blue Aster grows to about three feet in height and is covered with light blue flowers. The flowers attract a wide variety of insects, including bees and other pollinators, which seek its pollen and nectar. It is most commonly found in mesic to dry soils in prairies, savannas, and rocky upland woods. Its fibrous root system holds soil in place and helps control erosion. This species blooms from late summer well into the fall and adds color and structure to prairie plantings. Green milkweed grows best in the central and southeastern United States and is a primary food source for adult monarchs and their caterpillars. It is also a highly attractive coast plant for soldier and queen butterfly caterpillars and adults and serves as a nectar plant for many other butterflies and pollinators. Green milkweed is an herbaceous perennial hardy in zones four to nine. One of the earlier flowering milkweeds blooming from May to June, it's a great plant for early migrating monarchs. The larger than average flower clusters are a unique creamy greenish color with purple highlights at the center. Growing one to two feet tall, this is one of the shorter milkweeds and behaves well in the garden, spreading gently. In other words, it's not going to take over your yard. It utilizes a taproot, making it very drought tolerant. It will thrive and dry to medium moist soils, but well-drained soil is a must. Like most milkweeds, green milkweed prefers full sun. Commonly known as prairie milkweed or Sullivan's milkweed, this is an excellent host plant for monarch butterflies, especially if you live in the central United States. Prairie milkweed is similar to common milkweed, but is a little shorter and is far less aggressive. It's more suitable to garden settings than common milkweed. 
Medium to wet moisture is preferred, but over time it will develop a long taproot and tolerate mild drought. It is hardy in zones 3 to 7 and is an herbaceous perennial that grows about 3 feet tall, unbranching, and has large leaves with pinkish veining. The flowers are pink and fragrant, appearing around June, July, and August. Prairie milkweed prefers full sun and rich, loamy soil. Although it is a major host plant for monarchs, many butterflies and other pollinators, including hummingbirds, enjoy nectar from the flowers of prairie milkweed. Purple milkweed is a rare herbaceous perennial that will die back in the fall to return in the spring. It is hardy in USZ, USDA zones 3A and to 9B and could grow from 2 to 3 feet tall or more and about 1 to 3 feet wide. It is unique in that it has the most beautiful purple flowers of all the milkweeds. Blooms appear in summer and can last for about one month. If no seed pods are set, they will usually rebloom. There is some patience required as it might take two to three years for young plants to bloom. Their fragrance attracts many pollinators and different kinds of butterflies such as eastern black swallowtails, eastern tiger swallowtails, great spangled fritillaries, hair streaks, painted lady butterflies, skippers, sulfurs, red admirals, and more. And it is, of course, a host plant for the monarch. Purple milkweed is native to most of the eastern, southern, and midwestern parts of the United States and the region around Ontario, Canada, very similar to the range of common milkweed. Not only is it very rarely found growing wild, but it is also very hard to find for purchase in nurseries. It is, it is declared an endangered species in the state of Wisconsin and threatened in Massachusetts. This plant likes full sun to partial shade, prefer prefers morning sun and afternoon shade. It does not have the long taproot or an underground rhizome typical of milkweeds, so it does not tolerate drought. Purple milkweed should be planted in well-drained soil enriched with a light amount of composted cow manure, which is a high nutrient requirement and might possibly favor calcium rich site. I would encourage you to try to find some of these seeds and plant these in your garden if at all possible and let's get them where they're not endangered anymore. Verbena stricta is a native wildflower also known as hoary vervain, hoary verbena, tall vervain, and woolly verbena. It is a host plant for the common buckeye butterfly and is also used by other butterflies and pollinators as a nectar plant. Hoary vervain has the additional bonus of supporting wildlife as its seeds provide food for small mammals and some birds. Hoary vervain is hardy in zones 3 to 8 and is a short-lived herbaceous perennial that readily reseeds, forming non-aggressive clumps. It is an upright plant with a long bloom time of pinkish lavender flowers appearing on spikes from mid to late summer. This verbena prefers full sun and does well in many soil types. It prefers medium to dry condition and is drought tolerant. Button or rough blazing star has purple flowers and grows to three feet in height. It prefers, prefers medium to dry soil and will bloom from July to October. It grows best in full sun but will tolerate some shade. Button blazing star is a great pollinator plant and attracts a variety of bees, butterflies, and insects. Wild quinine matures to four feet tall and has white, dense, cauliflower looking flowers. It prefers medium soil conditions, grows best in full sun, and blooms June through September. Wild quinine is typically found in dry areas of prairies and open woods. The flowers attract bees, wasps, flies, and beetles. The beetles usually feed on the pollen while the other insects seek nectar. Wild petunia is native to most of the eastern United States. It grows to one foot tall and can spread vigorously in ideal conditions. The lavender blossoms attract a variety of pollinator insects from June through August. Wild petunia prefers medium to dry soil and full sun. It is quite hardy but does not tolerate wet, swampy conditions. It is favored by long-tongued bees and butterflies and is the host plant for the common buckeye butterfly. 
Rue anemone is a delicate looking early spring plant that blooms in various shades of pink and is only six inches in height. It blooms from April through June. It begins to come up through brown leaves from the previous fall. The petals are actually sepals, so they continue to bloom for a longer period of time. The root system produces very small tubers. It prefers medium to dry soil and partial to full shade. Rue anemone dies back in midsummer, making it a true spring ephemeral. I would like to thank Ohio Prairie Nursery, Joyful Butterfly, and Prairie Moon Nursery for allowing me to use pictures and information from their websites to use in this presentation. They are an excellent source for native plants and seeds, and they have an enormous amount of information for native plant gardening on their websites. I would encourage you to use one of these three nurseries to order your seeds or seedlings to plant in your garden. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and got some ideas for seeds you can win or sow. Please give me a thumbs up and if you've not done so already, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell so you will know when I post new videos. Goodbye.